big night last night, the Academy Awards, and one Canadian filmmaker, Ben Proudfoot, has a big reason to be proud after taking home gold again at the Oscars. This time, the Halifax-born filmmaker won the Academy Award for the best short documentary, The Last Repair Shop, a great film, a story of a shop in Los Angeles that offers free instruments, free repairs to public school students. Ben actually also won an Oscar back in 2021 for his short doc, The Queen of basketball and he is standing by right now joining us live ben good to see you back with us congratulations thank you so much right so uh, your thoughts as you were nominated and as you won what were you what was going through your mind uh well it, it, it's always an incredibly nerve-wracking roller coaster of emotions kind of leading up you know three categories left two categories left and it was an incredibly strong year for the short documentary so many friends who were who were nominated and new friends who I got to know in the process. So um, I, I was going to be happy, whatever the outcome. But of course, you're rooting for your film. And when The Last Repair Shop was named, it was just this huge release, release of, of energy and excitement. And uh, yeah, we, we leapt up and Porsche, our, our student, our star, you know, stormed the stormed the stage and the, the audience was on their feet for her. Yeah, it's a great story too. For people who haven't seen it, tell us a little bit more about The Last Repair Shop and, and why it spoke to you as a filmmaker. Yeah, The Last Repair Shop, it's a short documentary about the Los Angeles Unified School District Musical Instrument Repair Shop, which is one of the last in the country that provides free and freely repaired musical instruments to public school kids. And so the film follows for master crafts people uh, who are in the shop and how their lives were sort of broken and then repaired by music. You meet four students for whom this, these in instruments mean the world and then there's a big final concert of generations of LUSD students who have profited and benefited from this program. And you know, for me, I'm always somebody who, who has loved music. I have piano lessons and, and you know, listening to soundtracks on on repeat and so i knew the power of music for a young person and it just felt both i was both proud that la had the last one in the country but also deeply troubled by the fact that it was the last one in the country and felt as though you know chris and i could make a film that would help change the conversation about music and arts education you're getting good at this now your second oscar what's that like <laughs> it's uh, not something I ever, I, I certainly hoped for it, but it's not something I ever thought would actually come true. Um, you know, I think, you know, it's important to remember with this category, it's not, it's not a best director award. It's a best film. So this award, um, you know, it really is something for the entire group of people. And really it's for the storytellers, the people that we cover in the in the film and, and their stories. That's what people are responding to. You know, I, um, Chris and I may have been sort of the ones who initially said, you know, we should run with this and make a movie about it. Um, but at the end of the day, I think when the voters uh, watch the film, what they're responding to is we agree. We, we want to lift these people up too. And so that means the most to us. I know you're originally from Halifax, but nowadays you spend a lot of your time in the U.S. What's it like just, you know, being, you know, these parties and these celebrations and being at these red carpets and these award ceremonies? What's the, what's that like to experience for you? Well, you know, no, Nova Scotians are no stranger to a party. <laughs> um, you know, the carpet might be slightly different, different color, but uh, no, it, it's, it's fun. And, you know, you, you meet all kinds of wonderful people down-to-earth people, uh, even at these parties. Um, it's certainly exciting and heady and um, fun, but at the end of the day, you know, you got to come home and feed your dog and put your pants on one leg at a time, and so it's important to stay grounded uh, while also having having fun and relishing the, the moment and the fruits of your labor. Hey, listen, I remember, uh, you know, three years ago, I had you on this program on this channel. We were talking about the Queen of Basketball. Here you are three years later. Talk about the last repair shop. What's next for you? Um, I'm hoping to get a nap sometime today. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure when it will come, but that's what's coming for me. <laughs> Any projects you can talk about? Oh, I've got a few in the works, but I, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to tip my hand here. I gotta. Uh, you just follow us on Instagram. You'll you'll uh, you'll find out soon enough. You're a short documentary filmmaker, so 
I release many films a year. You do. Where can we find you on Instagram, Ben? I'm at BG Proudfoot, and our company is Breakwater Studios. There we go, Breakwater Studios, BG Proudfoot. Hey, listen, I hope to have you back in the next couple of years for a third Oscar. We'll see how it all plays out in the meantime. Best of luck and congratulations from us here at CTV News, Ben. Thank you so much. Ben Proudfoot joining us from Los Angeles. Just won a second Oscar for his short doc, The Last Repair Shop.